Welcome to the Nave Varsha Tiny House. This is my first tiny house stay. It's very private and I'm really into outdoor baths and outdoor bathing rituals. And this place has a wood-fired hot tub. I'm really into those right now. This place has two baths actually. Amazing first tiny home experience for me. It's a relocatable trailer that they've set up here. I don't believe it's off-grid because I can't see anything that would indicate it's off-grid, but definitely feels like an off-grid property. You've also got Wi-Fi, so you've got this barefoot wilderness type experience, but you've got all the mod cons to stay connected. It's got this beautiful high ceiling. You have a little cabinet here. There's actually a TV in there. I like the fact that the TV is there and I like the fact that the TV is concealed. You've got it there if you want and then aesthetically it's kind of all tucked away. The heat source for the property I absolutely love. It is a fireplace of course. It's a really big fireplace for a tiny house. It gets hot very quickly. I just love fires in general. There was a bit of frost and mist about in the morning. It was chilly in here this morning and I really love the process of lighting the fire to warm the place up. I love the pressed tin on the wall behind the fireplace. Galley style kitchen. I love the fit out, the materials. The main cabinetry for the kitchen is a repurposed vanity, antique I imagine. Gas cooktop, got a microwave, a fridge and a freezer. I'd say the whole vibe for the interior of this property is vintage, upcycled, warm, timber, classic, with like a luxury element coming through as well, but in kind of a, a rustic farmhouse type of vibe. And it's just beautiful. Everything's very high quality, very solid. It's just a beautiful space to step into and to sit in and to bathe in and to sleep in, all that stuff. I really love making the coffee here, the Chemex pour over coffee option. I'm kind of new to it, but I really enjoy it. Lighting the fire to warm the place up making a pour over coffee, heading back to bed while the tiny home heats as the sun rises. It's amazing. Really, really cool part of the stay. You have a little working desk. This is where you'll find the information about the property, which has all kinds of info. You've got some Charles Dickens books, which I thought was pretty cool. A nice little plus one from the owner. You actually get this little carafe of, I believe it's port or port wine and two little crystal glasses. It's lovely. I felt like James Bond or something, pouring myself a little, little fancy drink. Yum. There is a sliding barn door which connects through to the bathroom. It was a big surprise. I didn't actually do too much research about this place before I booked it because I saw the tiny house, I liked the look of it and the wood-fired hot tub I booked. So I didn't look into things too much beyond that and that was actually really fun because usually I research these places heaps but this place has surprised me for example in the bathroom there is a clawfoot bath not something that you would expect in a tiny house so in here you've got a small vanity a sink beautiful clawfoot bath with a big high back on it which is really comfortable to sit in full-size shower and then a toilet when it comes to the bath products Linda has used these beautiful, I think it's brown, I'm colorblind, hopefully that's brown, glass dispense jars. Sometimes when you stay at a accommodation experience and they've got heads and shoulders or the herbal essences sitting on the floor, you kind of feel like you're stepping into someone's house a little bit, like, oh, that's somebody's shampoo, but when they've been put in these beautifully presented dispense bottles, I just thought it was a really nice touch and something that I would do in my accommodation offering one day. There's nice artwork throughout the place. There's a beautiful painting above the bath. It was definitely cool to sit in the bath with a glass of port, looking at a painting on the wall in front of me. It just felt really fancy and fun.
got this beautiful big staircase which you climb up and up here I believe it's a queen bed. You've got twin skylights so you can lay there and look up at the stars at night and you've got a big window to the side which looks out over the treetops and the night sky and it's just a really really cozy spot. This was probably the thing that I booked it on. I was like, tiny house and the outdoor tub was like, yeah, I wanna try that. It's basically a fire box and it's submerged, but you just light a fire in this little box and bubbles and boils away and it heats up the hot tub. You have to work for the fire and, and put in a bit of effort to make it. And you have to nurture it and go and test the water and get it to the temperature you want and stir it all up. So again, another example of a little ritual that forces you to slow down and engage with the site and with the area and disconnect from what a typical way of life is for having a bath which is you know, pushing the jets on or turning a tap on and don't get me wrong you can come into the bathroom here and have a really beautiful bath but I love being in a bath outside by a fire hearing the birds and the, and the cool air on you and the heat of the water it's just something about it I loved it. it does take a couple of hours to fully heat up the water so just factor that in and the owners very kindly reach out to you and they can coordinate to have the hot tub lit so it's nice and warm when you arrive at the property the level of inclusion here is generous. I just recently stayed at an Airbnb that was 600 and something dollars a night and they provided you with a coffee machine but they didn't provide you any beans. And I just thought, that's interesting. Anyway, my point is here, it's a generous level of inclusion. Like there was heaps of coffee. I could have made 10 or 12 big Chemexes if I wanted. There's heaps of hot chocolate, there is heaps of tea, heaps of bubble bath. You can genuinely feel that Linda wants you to just feel really special and to just enjoy your time here. I think that wraps up the tour. Thank you so much, Linda, for having me. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. And if you didn't, maybe you'll enjoy the next one. Bye. The lighting in here is actually really good. This is awesome. Don't come across lame. Don't quite know what to do about that. There's a wasp. It's very hot in here, I'm sweating. Stay back, waspy. You can do that, and there's a fire. Ooh. It's always happy somewhere. Um, what do they say? It's always happy hour somewhere, right?